Well, hello guys. Hi. Hello. Oh, the inconsistencies of Courtney Moss. I apologize. It's been a couple of months. I know, like two months since I've done a recording. I've been promising this video for the longest. So, uh, so here we are. Okay, we are here. We are going to be doing a video about uniforms. So I know a lot of um, new officers are asking about, okay, what about my uniform? What about boots? What do I need to buy? Especially the fact that we've been virtual for a full year. We were um, virtual due to COVID. And so with that, we had new soldiers coming in that didn't need uniforms at all. They were doing everything through the computer so with that um i've gotten a lot of questions about uniforms how to wear uniforms and what does that look like and so just recently i picked up my uniforms today actually said and i did my first lieutenant um, patch and switched those over and got those sewn on and so i said well why not do a video what better time than the present right and so i went ahead and um picked up those uniforms and so i'm going to be going through the very detailed on the uniforms, the amount of text messages, the amount of questions that I've received over the past month um, have been kind of overwhelming. And so I need to do this as a bulk run here. Um, we are going to go over each item of the uniforms of the army uniforms and go over those regulations as well. So as you see um, on here, I look like this. But when it comes down to drill um, and my monthly BA, nails do not look like this. This is totally out of regulation. We'll never wear this color to BA ever. Hair, out of regulations because it's a balayage, it's like highlight and it has to be your natural hair. I'm not gonna go through all of the army regulations because they just actually um, implemented a new rule, new army regulations for nails, for hair, what that looks like, what that looks like for PT. Um, I'll leave a description at the bottom that you guys can review the army regulations. They even get down to the nitty gritty of eyelash extensions. Um, so yes. You guys can review that. I may go over that at some point in time. I just don't feel comfortable on speaking on army regulations and then have you guys go out there and get yelled at by your commanders. So we're not gonna go there. But what I look like here, I do not look like when I go to drill um, or when I'm in uniform, I just don't. So this is my civilian lifestyle, how I look, what I wear. Like I said, nails, hair, nails done, hair done, everything did. Anyway, that's what I do for my civilian life. But outside of that, I, I look different. I'll usually have like a short wig on um, or my hair in a bun or hair in braids. And then my nails are either really clean or it's a clear or very neutral um, and very short nail set that I'll do for my nails, but I keep it very, very clean with the military. Anyway, um, we're going to deep dive into the uniforms and what those regulations look like, where your patches need to go. We're going to talk about boots and boot blousers, all the fun stuff we're going to get into. So um, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, feel free to email me. I've gotten a lot of emails over over the past few months and so thank you for being thank you for following me on instagram all of it um i'm glad to answer any questions that you guys may have so um like i said stay tuned we're gonna get into the uniform so we went through the undergarment shorts and here goes the undergarment top so that will just go underneath your uniform your um your yeah your ocps now we have the pants here so as you can see, there's the pants and then they have the belt to go with it. So don't forget that when you purchase your pants, make sure you get the belt to go with it. And then for the pants, I used to get 
extra short because I am 5'1", but now what I get is a short, or do I get a regular? No, I get the short. So I'm a 31 short, and these are still kind of a little baggy too. I can go um, maybe one, one size smaller, but anyways, this is a 31 short. Some people, they like their, um, they like their pants a little baggy. I prefer, or some like them a little tighter and a little bit more fitted. I prefer mine a little bit more fitted. So I could go down a size on these pants, but that's just my preference. I like short, the short length, because when I sit down, I do not want my pants to roll up and then I have to stuff the boot again. I'll go into what that means a little later, but at the bottom what you do is is you scrunch the bottom and you tie it and then you put your boot blouser these are boot blousers you could get these at any uniform store for the military military uniform store and you clip that to the bottom of your pants and it really helps with keeping everything snug some people they'll stuff their pants into their socks and that helps as well and just roll down the socks so they don't show. Um, but I prefer the boot blousers for that. And then um, tying it. And it just helps with keeping your, it just really helps with keeping it all together and keeping it all within the boot. So that you're not, when you stand up, you don't have to restuff your boot. Because I was doing that a lot with my extra shorts. So if you're 5'1", I would highly suggest doing short instead of extra short. But you know what? It's up to everyone's preference. I prefer not to stand up and have to stuff my my boots with my pants all the time. Like, that's annoying. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. So, we have our OCP top. Okay. So, like I said, I am 5'1", um, about 135, 135 pounds, right? So I have the 33 extra short, okay? So that's mine. I find this top to be very comfortable. So that's what I do. Some people, they do things differently, um, but that's what I do. So anyway, I sew on my last name and the army... Um, patch also sewn on so if you get one thing sewn on you have to get all of it sewn on so you can't have this as a patch you can't have this as just a regular and um, patch and this as a sew on everything has to be sewn on um so that it's clean the only things that can be just regular patches are um is the flag the united states flag and then your unit patch this is a medical backfill battalion insignia patch um so that's what this is there is a process and a way of wearing your patches so like i said um i've seen a couple people that their name tags in time or they didn't have their u.s army in time and still wore the uniform it was like you should have just came in civilians to drill um rather than looking crazy but anyway to each his own so like i said sewn on everything sewn on if it's a patch a patch for everything so, like I said, I prefer to get mine sewn on because it's just a more clean look. Anyway, on your right arm. So, the arm that you salute with, okay, the arm and the hand that you salute with is United States flag patch goes. You want it to be very snug to the top as well. You want it to be flushed to the top. You want to make sure that, you know, it's even on both sides. So as you can see, both sides and the arm that you salute the flag with, remember this, the arm that you salute the flag with, which is your right arm, your right hand is where the United States flag goes. Just remember that. Then you put your right hand over your chest. That is where the U.S. Army goes. So you salute with your right arm, right hand, cross over. That is where U.S. Army goes. It is supposed to go over your heart. Just remember that. So U.S. Army is supposed to go over your heart. Your last name goes on the other side. Just remember that. That's the way that I remembered it. 
it's kind of like process of elimination, essentially. It's just over U.S. Army, over salute United States flag, and then you have your other patches. It should be self-explanatory at that point. Like your name should go on the other side and then your unit patch should go there. So that's what that should look like, okay? Very easy. Now, same thing goes for your cap, your OCP um, patrol cap, okay? This is, if you have everything sewn on your top, your OCP top, your hat should be sewn on as well. So it shouldn't be like patch, patch. It, you need to make sure that it's clean. And so um, this is sewn on as well. And then on the back, you should have your last name on the back as well. And that needs to be sewn on as well. Okay. So everything should be sewn on and clean. If it's um, if it's a patch without sew sewing it on, then boom, done, you know. Next, we have our APFUs, which is the Army Physical Fitness Uniform. And you have your shorts, and then you have your top. I believe these shorts and tops are made in men's sizes, I believe. I'm assuming so. So I usually get a small um, for the top, and then I believe a medium for the shorts. Nope, a small for the shorts as well. So small or medium for the shorts. Like I said, I'm 5'1", 135 pounds. So you go ahead and figure out what that looks like um, for yourself. But yes, this is the short sleeve, short shorts, um, and the shorts. Short sleeve and the shorts. Now understand, if you are going to be doing winter gear, it needs to be full winter gear, not just, oh, we're just going to wear our winter tops and shorts. That's no, that's not regulation. Regulation is winter gear, winter gear. You could do, you could do your shorts, your shorts underneath your long, but you can't mix and match if that makes sense. All right. So here goes the long sleeve the long sleeve winter gear for your APFUs um, alongside um, this uniform as well. So you have your jacket, your pants, and then you have your long sleeve, your long sleeve if you want to get long sleeve. Um, if you're doing training somewhere in December, January, I would highly recommend this, um, especially like for, um, especially like if you're in, I don't know, Texas, Kentucky, Oklahoma in in this in the winter time it's important to have these with you just in case you have to do PTs out PT out in you know in the snow so just FYI um also too you have your fleece cap and like I said I'm leaving descriptions of where I got all of this stuff um so fleece cap and gloves I have about three or four three pairs of gloves at this point so but these are my favorite ones actually um I believe I have a description of where I got these from but these are fire like just oh my god amazing I love these so we have these regulation glasses um for the range so they have the dark version and the clear version as well um so these are going to be given during like dcc and um bullock so you have options of getting these i think i have two or three pairs at this point for these because i keep them um because you will lose them i mean it's easy to lose so anyway these are the army regulations ones i know that there are other out there others that are out there on the market but these are the ones that i um was given from my training so i would highly recommend using those so these are the socks that i have some people they use um black socks as well i was using black socks for a while um but i prefer these ones because they just they look neat so these are the ones that I use um, and you could get this from any, any military like uniform place as well. Okay, so now let's go over the different fleeces and undergarments for winter gear um, that you could put underneath your uniform. I highly recommend having them. Some commanders or some units, they say if, if one group, if 
if one person out of the unit or out of your squad or out of your platoon doesn't have a fleece then you can't wear the fleece and so we were struggling in texas when we bought brought our fleeces and they wouldn't let us wear our fleeces it was the worst um, because this thing is so comfortable so amazing highly recommend buying one of these just for the winter so as you can see i still have my second lieutenant patch on there child um but that needs to come off but so now we're gonna go over um the under garments for like cold weather gear so um this is a waffle so this goes underneath this goes over your undershirt and under your ocp top and so this is really good for the winter time frame um i bought this at clothing and sales um on the army base so i'll provide a link for that as well and then they have the i guess you could say like long johns um this goes under this goes under your um ocp pants bottoms your ocp bottoms and so yeah um this is really good for just cold weather gear um, it's amazing. I live by it for the winter time because Texas was nice and cold, bruh. Um, but yeah, that that is pretty much all of it. Um, I also have these, which are the Rocky boots. Um, and so these are really um really nice as well. They're very durable. I've had them for two and a half years, going on three years. And so yeah, mm-hmm. Um, I'll probably get some new pairs. I'll get a new pair of these pretty soon here. Um, probably not this brand, probably the Nike ones, but anyway, this is a, um, good one. Army regs as well. So yeah. Um, like I said, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, need anything about like uniforms or questions about uniforms, reach out, um, and yeah, we can deep dive into those questions and provide you with some answers. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and friend me on Facebook. Have a good night.